This is Mike Bot. Today I'm going to be doing must have parts for the Bamboo Labs P1P Part 1 as well as the auxiliary fan installation. So if you've already seen my unboxing video, um, then this will be a complimentary video to that initial video. If you haven't seen it already, check it out and uh, just get an idea of how the enclosure went, the setup and the unboxing went for the P1P. So first things first, I picked up some extra PTFE tubing for the P1P. It already came with uh, uh, some PTFE tubing, but it takes a long time to get these deliveries in, so it's always good to have some extra on hand. Now, uh, as you can see here, I have the auxiliary fan uh, uh, case printed already uh, using PLA, but I've also printed it using carbon fiber. So you need to get that out of the way first and foremost if you're gonna be installing the auxiliary fan. So next, since we're talking about the auxiliary fan, I might as well open that package next. So right here, is the auxiliary fan box and like uh, all bamboo stuff it's really well packaged so I'm just gonna open it up here really quick you might hear my other printers in the background there I always have to stop printing 24 7 so you got some 3m tape that's to help secure the auxiliary fan you got a couple sets of screws here and most importantly, we have the auxiliary fan. So this installation, uh, I don't know how smooth it'll be, but it, it is pretty hands-on. So familiarize with the P1P's internals really well before you go ahead and proceed with the auxiliary fan installation. But as uh, you can see here, it just slips right in. So anyway, uh, We'll talk about that more once I get to that step. So next, we have here, the 0 0.2 millimeter hot end stainless steel nozzle. This is a spare nozzle I picked up. Uh, if you have two printers like me, it's good to have a different nozzle on a different printer. So 0 0.2 will get you much finer prints. So that there is just a spare nozzle. Uh, once again, the if you watched my initial video, the P1P came with a zero a spare 0 0.4 millimeter uh, nozzle, which is uh, right here. It didn't come with an extra sock for some reason, but uh, the 0 0.4 is currently mounted on there. That's what it came with, so that's why I have 0 0.2 as well. So to complement that 0.2 millimeter spare nozzle, I also have the full hot end assembly for the 0.2 mil right here. So this one has the thermistor cables, um, surprisingly no sock, and it's got the uh, yeah the two thermistor cables. Oh, there's the sock and the full hot end. So when you're swapping out, you want to swap out with this one first, and the spare nozzle is basically to replace this once. Uh, that one wears down. I don't know how fast it'll wear down being stainless steel. Uh, my X1C uses the hardened steel nozzles. So those are must-haves. Uh, depending on your printing needs, you might go with 0 0.6, 0 0.8, uh, or just stick with 0 0.4. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned in my original video, the P1P doesn't come with the cool plate. It comes with the dual-sided, um, what do you call it? They're the dual-sided uh, textured PEI plate. So that plate is really, really good. I actually bought one for my X1C as well. Probably the best plate you can get, but the cool plate's pretty neat as well. Something different. If you've been into 3D printing for a while, uh, you'll know what I mean. No one else has done anything like that before. So on that note, I also picked up a spare sheet. So this one is actually a full uh, dual-sided textured PEI plate. They don't use stickers for these, they use actual plates. So when the plate wears down, you replace the entire plate, toss the other one out. Now, as you probably saw when I was doing my unboxing of everything just now, they come with these really nice 
bags. Keep these bags. They're good to uh, put your 3D prints in if you're selling them. They're good bags to have around or even if you just have Amazon returns. So that's it for the spare parts unboxing. Now I'm going to go ahead and proceed with installing the auxiliary fan. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the printer off, disconnect it, uh, the pain in the butt. Anti-vibration feet, anti-vibration feet, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to have to come out. Those things are a pain to put on and get perfect. So that sucks since I haven't even had my printer for 24 hours. But anyway, part of the process. So shut down the printer, remove the anti-vibration feet if you have them installed. Uh, turn the printer around and then I'll show you the next steps from there. Time to begin. So I'll just mention right off the bat, uh, there will be more videos coming with spare parts and upgrades. Stay tuned for those videos down the road. Start by unplugging it and turning it off. Pull the power cable out of the way. And just clean up my workspace. So it'll be easier to maneuver and work with the printer. Take off the anti-vibration feet. filament move the filament dryer out of the way so for the most part we're going to be working back here I'm going to try to cover every angle I can to the best of my ability all right so we're going to start by taking apart the back here So here's the inside of the P1P. And what you're looking for back here is the control board, which is right there. And the auxiliary fan will be going right in there. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. So behind this cable here. So it'll be going right in there. So now with the back open, we're gonna grab the auxiliary fan next and the printed attachment. So what we wanna do, we wanna screw it into the back here. So we'll have to start by removing, we'll have to start by removing these, inserting it in and then screwing it in. So these just pop out by pulling them. Now you place your fan in and then as you see, it slips right in. So now you look for your screws that came in the package. Uh, one is for P1P, the other is for the X1C. There's only four screws in here. So you want to go with the shorter screws for this part. Make sure they're nice and tight in there. Don't go too tight that you snap and break anything. Okay, so it's fastened in there now. So now put the fan down, go to your printer, and you wanna look for the side. And you wanna look for the side where the auxiliary fan's going to go. The fan goes on the same side as the poop chute or where the LED fan, uh, where the LED light and the camera are. This is going to be kind of hard to film, but I'm going to try my best. So basically, you want to look for the little knot right there. So you want to look for this thing here, and you got to place a sticker on that side and on that side, and the fan goes at the bottom. There are two little screw holes down there, and that's where the long screws go in. So grab the 3M tape one on each side. So it'll look something like that. Right up here. So next, remove the 3M tape, the backing on the 3M tape on all the tape. Line up the screw holes. And make sure you line up that knot I showed you with the little groove here. 
that's basically how you know you're aligning it right or not so even without putting the screws in now it's pretty secure in there but i am still going to put the screws in because you don't want it wobbling and falling off during a print so grab the two long screws and screw them in at the bottom you're not really going to be able to see this part but when you're installing it you'll know all right so uh, I turned off the cameras for a minute and I homed the printer, erased the uh, bed that made it a lot easier. So basically, those are the two screws you put in there and the printer should look, look like that. Uh, sorry, the auxiliary fan should look like that. Make sure you make sure you take the cable and you move it before you install the fan or it's going to be very difficult and you'll have to redo everything. So right now, as you can see, the fan is in there secure now we move on to the next and final step so now we want to turn the printer around again oh, this is a pain because I know I'm gonna be doing this again for my next videos I don't want to ruin the surprise for the next video so I'm not gonna say what they're about so basically you want to locate that cable and you want to run it towards the board so bamboo actually gave you a little slot they probably knew you were going to get the auxiliary fan and they just didn't want to include it so they, there's a little slot back here once i find it there it is okay so there's a slot right back here and you want to feed the cable through there towards the back I have to undo my uh, enclosure, um, unfortunately. So basically you wanna take the wire, run it through here. So it goes back here and then in, and then it comes out towards the back there. All right, so now comes the final step, which is to plug this into there. So once I plug that up, so once I plug that in, I'm going to put the back back on, turn the printer on, dual bed leveling, and off to the races. Uh, in my case, I got to put my anti-vibration feet back on. In your case, once you do this, you screw the back on and do it leveling, you're done. That was designed for very little hands. That was not easy to do. Okay, now for the back. The easiest way to do this is just start with the four corners and then you work your way around to the rest. Don't over tighten or tighten anything until you have at least the four corners in. Once the four corners are in, then you can tighten the four corners and proceed. That's my tip to you. So while I'm tightening this, I want to mention that the spare parts for the bamboo I've, have you noticed how cheap they are? Like, they're very, very well priced. So that's uh, something to kind of really appreciate with bamboo. Is that since they kind of built a walled garden, they, uh, they are reasonable with their spare part costs. It's a nice, uh, kind of nice when you really uh, think about it. All right, so the back is on now. Nice and secure. So now uh, my next step is to put the uh, anti-vibration feet on and then we boot up the printer, inspect, make sure everything is working. All right, so now it's time to turn the, the printer on. So I just turned it on. Looks like the auxiliary fan was spinning for a second. So looks like we're good. The camera's there. Uh, the LED light. So the camera and the LED light came uh, here by default. So I'm just gonna make sure the light works. Yeah, the light works and the fan did turn on when I booted up the printer. So what I'm gonna do actually, I'm just gonna shut it off again. Gonna shut the printer off again and turn it back on just to see if that fan is gonna spin. Okay, printer's off, printer's on.
Yeah, the auxiliary fan spinning. That's the only way you can really test it. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, get ready for part two of must have upgrades and spare parts coming very soon. That one is a must because that next few upgrades I'm going to do are pretty cool and they're pretty cheap in price as well. So if you have any questions about them, leave it below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Thank you all again for watching. Mike Bot, out.